I know we're living in some crazy times right now, but I look to you, my brother, I look to you, my sister, those of you that are joining in tonight, you need to put a smile on your face. Regardless of what's going on, you have no reason to fear. I'm gonna say it again. You have no reason to fear. Can you put it in the chat section? I need you to give it to God. Not man, not woman, not boy, not girl. Give it to God. Come on. Who has the final say? Jehovah has. Yes, Lord. The final say. Come on, lift it up. Who has the final say? Jehovah has. Yes, Lord. The final and no matter what the doctor says, Jehovah I need you to claim your healing. And no matter what my money says, Jehovah I know he's a provider. Come on, say it. I have no reason to fear. Sing it to the Lord. Come on, y'all. I have no reason to fear. The Lord is the Lord.
We bless you, Father. We bless you. We have no reason to fear. And reason why we have no reason to fear, because we know your word doesn't lie. Your word, it's written in stone. My God, I feel Jesus tonight. My Lord, listen to these words. All things are possible when we believe. All chains are breakable when we receive the Yahweh. You keep your promises. Yes, you do. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, say. If you said it, we believe it. Come on. His word cannot go and return to him void. If you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man. Cause you're a man. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. My God. Oh yes. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man. Cause you're a man. Yeah. Of your word. Listen. All things are possible. We have this confidence You'll finish what you started God, you have never failed You won't start with me You're present in every step Patient in every heartache God, you have never failed You won't start with me what you started. You finish what you started. God, you have never, God, you have never failed us. You won't start with me. You're present in every step. In every step. You're patient in every heartache. our testimony tonight if you said it we believe it if you said it can you lift that with us come on if you said it, we believe we believe if you said it if you said it that's god come on say if you said it, we believe we believe if you said it if you said it, there's nothing that god cannot do if you said it, we believe we believe if you said it if you said it if you said it, if you said it, we believe it. We believe it. If you said it, if you said it, I am who you say I am. Say, I am who you say I am. I am who 
you say I am. I am who you say I am. I'm the lender, not the borrower. I am who you say I am. I'm above and not beneath. I am who you say I am. I'm the head, not the tail. I am who you say I am. I'm above and not beneath. I am who you say I am. I'm the head, not the tail. I am who you say I am. I'm above and not beneath. I am who you say I am. His word is written in stone. I am who you say I am. I am who you say I am. I am who you say I am. If you said it, we believe it. Come on. If you said it, we believe. If you said it, we believe it. 'Cause you're a man. 'Cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. If you said it, we believe it. We believe it. Oh, we trust your word, Lord. We will obey you. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it. You're a man. You're a man. He's right there. He's worthy. His word cannot lie. Hallelujah. And it's good to know that he's not a man that he should lie. If he said it, we believe it. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Whatever promise that he has made, he is a promise keeper, never a promise breaker. And I'm grateful today for that. Man may disappoint you. The arms of flesh will fail you, but God, but God, Hallelujah! Come on, just declare that once more. Just say, "We believe it, Lord. I believe you, God." Hallelujah! 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If He said it, I believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, put it there. If He said it, we believe it. You're not a man that you should lie. If you said it, we believe. If you said it, we believe. There shall be a performance of every word that you've spoken. Yeah. If you said it, we believe. It. Come on, saints, believe him today. Believe him today. Since believe him today. Since you said it, since you said it, since you said it, we believe it. Since you said it, since you said it, we believe it. Since you said it, we believe it. Since our confidence is in you, we will remain confident in this. Since you said it, we believe it. We believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh yes. Since you said it, we believe it. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Oh yes, I am. Since you said it, we believe it. We get ready to put our hands together. We get ready to make some noise. You can't be here with us tonight. We can't be there with you. But come on, put those hands together, cause we believe God. Clap your hands and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Come on. That's a faith praise. Come on, 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 come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We believe you, God. Stand on your promises. Well, good Wednesday evening, man. This week is quickly passing by, and we're glad to be here on this evening with you once more, even in this virtual setting. If you have not already, please take a moment and let somebody know Agape is on like right now. Come on, send them a text, share the link, do whatever you do. If you got to open up the window and holler out the, holler out the window and let somebody know, turn Agape on. I know that's crazy, but sometimes you got to do something crazy, and it's warm outside, so hey, do it. Listen, I, I'm so delighted that you are with us today because I believe Revival Revival fire is yet burning, and I just expect God to do some amazing things among us today. If this is your first time, well, welcome. We're glad to have you. You are an honored guest on this 
vit it on this uh, virtual platform today. Uh, real soon, we'd like to meet you in person. Until then, please text first time to the number that's written there on your screen. And we want to send something out to you immediately from our heart to yours. And as soon as you can, come and meet with us in person so that we can have the privilege of meeting you face to face or meeting together face to face. We're going to continue in this flow of praise and worship. It's not a performance. Remember, join right on in with us and let's give God some glory. During this time, if we were together, we'd have what we call uh, agape hug time and we'd kind of go from place to place and just greet one another. Can't do that in person, but we can do it virtually. So don't be lazy. Come on, share some hugs and greetings with one another. I'll be back. Don't go nowhere. Come on, worship team. Take us further. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Put those hands together. Like our pastor said, put some hug emojis. Put some love emojis up there. Come on and join us here at Agape. Everybody clap your hands. You got to move your feet. Come on, get up from where you are. Everybody come on. Everybody say, come and let us sing, come and let us come and let us sing, come and let us to the King of Kings, come and let us sing, come and let us sing, come and let us sing, to the King of Kings, oh, enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise, come and let us sing, come and let us sing, come and let us sing. 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 To the King of Kings. Oh, enter his gate. 
Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Wow. It's great in here. I feel that fire, that revival fire. And thank you for being, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Why are you just getting here? How are you late to online, online service? Come on. Well, we're glad to have you. Come on. Just keep enjoying Jesus with us. It is such an exciting evening, and I'm grateful for the presence of the Lord here. It's our prayer always that what happens here doesn't just linger here, but it transcends this place and gets to wherever you are. So if your heart is open, God will meet you right where you are. Listen, I want to say a zillion thanks to all of the volunteers who assisted us on this past weekend in our most recent uh, pandemic relief uh, f uh, f uh, food distribution event. Thank you so very, very much. Many of you responded, and on behalf of Elder Dorcas and the entire Master's Commission team, thank you, thank you so very, very much. This Sunday is going to be the first Sunday of May. We are going to observe uh, communion, so communion Sunday. Uh, please have your communion uh, elements ready and prepared. If you don't have the uh, cup and the, and the wafer that we typically um, uh, distribute during our Sunday morning service, uh, then get some bread and grape juice and, and set it aside for our time of communion as we uh, do so uh, virtually uh, and uh, just share the, the love of the Lord in this wonderful communion that we have with him, this common union. God, our Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, our Savior. Well, it's time to worship the Lord in giving. Put a smile on your face. God loves a cheerful giver. Here's the passage that I want to share with you today as we prepare our hearts to give. A familiar passage of Scripture, it's found in Luke chapter 6 and verse 38. It says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you or to you. Uh, here is uh, one of the classic verses that if you've been in Christ at any given time, you've heard this probably countless times. It is very, very important. Jesus preached the kingdom of God when he came out of the wilderness, Matthew 4 and 17. He began to preach the kingdom of God. Repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. Speaks to us of the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Um, we thank God for the word that lets us know that the kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is his rule, his reign, his way of doing things, his MO, his mode of operation, his sovereignty. Uh, it's the king's domain. Every king has a domain and every domain should have a king. And he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. We are the subjects and citizens of his kingdom. And God wants us to be mindful of the principles of his kingdom, the ways of his kingdom. Our theme for the year is the Jesus way. And in all things, we want to be on track. We want to be in harmony and step and sync with the Lord, doing all things according to his good pleasure. We see here, Jesus says to seek first the kingdom of God. Don't seek after things, seek after the kingdom of God. If you read the verses that precede verse 38, you'll see where he's saying to us, don't worry about what you're going to wear, what you're going to eat. Don't worry about any of those things. He said those things will take care of themselves those things will be provided provided you seek me first remember that when this text uh, was written when Jesus spoke these words uh, time was a lot things were different in, 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 in times past. They didn't have a convenience store. They didn't have a Wegsman, a, Wegs, a Wegmans, a shop right in here. I was in Georgia last week or Piggly Wiggly. Um, so they were given to trying to figure out, well, what are we going to have to eat? What, uh, what, we're going to have to go uh, pick something from the farm or, or, or slay an animal, prepare it. And, and sometimes there was, there was difficulty. There was, uh, there was a scarcity in the land. Uh, when's the last time you had to figure out uh, what, where you were going to get your food from? You probably spent more time trying to figure out what you were going to eat or nowadays where you, going, where you were going to eat, what restaurant you were going to stop by. He doesn't want us to be preoccupied with things seeking after things. He rather would have us to be preoccupied with him. And so this speaks to us of focus, of priority. Our preoccupation should be the Lord, that he is first and foremost in all things. 
even in our giving. So rather than seeking things, rather than putting your trust in things tonight, let's honor the Lord. Let's honor him with faith and obedience, bringing to the Lord his tithe and our offerings above and beyond as a sign even uh, and a gesture uh, of our, our, uh, our faith in him and he indeed being first and foremost in our lives. And when you make his kingdom first, when you put him first and his righteousness, his way of doing things, he says, everything that you have need of will be provided for you. So you don't have to stay up at night, pacing the floor, figuring out where you're going to live, what you're going to eat. If you seek him first, he will take care of every need that you could ever have. The worship team is going to continue to lead us in this time of worship for our giving is worship and an act of faith. Thanks to each of you who continually support ministry here at Agape. We appreciate you so very, very much. For those of you who uh, do the extra thing and, and mail in your tithe and offerings, we're receiving them and we thank you so very, very much. I'll wait until Sunday to share with you uh, the amount that's been received thus far for our St. Jude. That's above and beyond our regular giving. And I'm so pleased with what I've heard that you've given already that we're going to be able to support this worthy endeavor. If you haven't done so already, the link is still up. You can give above and beyond in your giving today to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. I'll be right back. Thank you, Father. The Lord we serve is good. He's better than good. <laughs> so good Lord you are good you've been better than good I can praise you enough I owe you my life can't praise you enough even if I tried cause you've been so good to me me say, Lord, you've been so good. Lord, you are good. You've been better. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. I can't praise you enough. Can't praise you enough. Even if I try. Even if I try. Because so good, come on. So good to me, to me. Oh, Lord, you are good. You've been so good. So good. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. You've been better. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. I owe you my life. I can't praise you enough. Try. Even if I try Because you've so good, so good. To, me, to me We're going to take it higher Oh, 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 oh Lord, Lord you are good. You've been so good, been so good. Come on, if that's your testimony this evening Lord, I need you to raise your voice good. and say it with us You've been better
goodness to us can't pay him but we surely can worship him we can give to him we could serve him we could partner with him we could love on others as he has loved us let's take our seat and lift it before the Lord in our giving tonight we acknowledge you as first and foremost in our lives in giving tonight we acknowledge you're the king of your kingdom and we seek your kingdom first and foremost and your way of doing things will not seek after tangible things here on earth material things that pass away but we seek you and I thank you father for your promise you're gonna take care of every need therefore we have no lack our needs are met because you are our shepherd we give generously cheerfully purposefully receive what we have take pleasure in it we pray in Jesus name amen Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thanks again for your faithful, your kind, your generous support of ministry here at Agape. I just want to take a few minutes to share something with you from my heart. And we're going to continue in this time of prayer and worship, revival fire. We've been going in this flow or in this vein uh, for several weeks now. And I have certainly been blessed immensely. And I trust that you have as well. So many of you have responded and uh, I'm grateful just to be a part of God's plan. I want to share something with you as I uh, prayed about what I would share with you today. This came to mind and I want you to listen very clearly to what I have to share with you in these few minutes that I have. It doesn't take a whole long, lot of time to share um, important things. So my intent is not so much quantity, but quality of my sharing with you today, a word from the Lord. In John chapter 16, uh, you'll find these words, and I'm going to start at verse 7. And uh, we're just going to read on down to, I believe, verse um, 13. 14, okay? We're going to go to verse 14. So seven verses for us here. Nevertheless, I tell you, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For I, if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, 
he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. And so far, the reading of God's word. I want you to note there in verse 8 of what Jesus said of the Holy Spirit, his work, his role in convicting the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. I want you to understand this. Um, when we speak of this convicting uh, power, uh, 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 ability, authority of the Holy Spirit, Note that Jesus specifically spoke of his conviction here of the world. When we think of convict, uh, we, we think in a legal sense, convict, conviction or convict. That is someone who has been uh, declared guilty and has been convicted of some crime. And of course, then the penalty of that crime. Jesus specifically speaks here of the Holy Spirit's role in conviction, that is convicting the world of sin because they do not believe. So it's a matter of unbelief, their, their rejection of Jesus Christ. We are not of the world. We are of the, the family of God. We are the covenant children of God and we are believers. Furthermore, of righteousness, he goes to my father, he says, he says, Jesus, I go to my father. All that they said of him, uh, it, 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 all that they said that was untrue of him was indeed a lie uh, and, 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 and righteousness now because of his triumphant work has been uh, declared to us that it is available to all of us for uh, he who knew no sin became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He speaks then of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. He speaks to us even of his triumphal work, his victory over Satan and how that Satan is judged and you and I have been redeemed from the curse of the law in Christ Jesus. And while these things are absolutely true as to, of course, what Jesus has said, don't think for a moment that the Holy Spirit doesn't convict those who are believers, but convict in this way. When you look up the word convict, it also means to illumine or illuminate. It means further to convince. So to convince the world of sin, of righteousness, of judgment, and even to convince the believer of what is right, what is uh, true, uh, and, and bring us into a, a deeper and greater understanding. As we read the text, you'll see he is called helper. That is paraclete or parakletos, the one called alongside to assist us, to help us, uh, uh, to, to, to even represent us. As in uh, ancient times, that word was often used to declare or to describe rather uh, those who would act as an attorney or an advocate in a place of law. And we have the Holy Spirit called alongside of us to help us, each and every one of us. We see then that he's called the spirit of truth and he will guide you into all truth. He said, there's some things I can't say to you right now. Now, uh, they're reserved for another time. This is what he says to his disciples, uh, that the spirit of truth will guide you into all truth and he will take with what is mine and he will give it to you and he will glorify me. The Holy Spirit's work glorifies Jesus Christ. Doesn't glorify man, glorifies Jesus Christ. So whenever you see folk that are trying to glorify themselves or be glorified by others, don't blame that on the Holy Spirit. That's a work of man. We must give him all the glory. That's what the true spirit of God will do, the spirit of truth. God, according to uh, Philipp, uh, excuse me, Psalm 51 and 6, we see David the psalmist says that God desires truth in the inward parts. Uh, the Holy Spirit brings truth truth to light uh, uh, is, is the revealer uh, of truth and, and God wants us to walk in truth. He doesn't want there to be deception in us, no, no deceit in us, no darkness in us. He wants us to have the light. In fact, we are called the light of the world and the salt of the earth. And so he would have us to walk in truth in all things, truth and not error. 
what is right rather than what is wrong. And how many of you know it that really you don't need a teacher like me or a man to tell you what's right and what's wrong because elsewhere in scripture we see in uh, 1 John how that um, we have uh, the unction. We have the, the Holy Spirit who teaches us all things. The spirit of truth brings us into a greater understanding, increases our capacity to hear him and to know him. And so uh, as, as I wrap up what I want to share with you today, I, I want us as it relates to our walk, our faith, living the, the Jesus way that we are ever sensitive to the Holy Spirit, that he who is the spirit of truth, convinces us of what is right and what is wrong, that we would live in such a way, not in, 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 in bondage, I'm not talking legalism here, but that we would be so sensitive to the Holy Spirit that we would never grieve the Holy Spirit as is noted in Ephesians 4 and 30. Wow, he can be aggrieved. Yes, the Holy Spirit is not an it. Y'all stop calling him an it. He's not an it. The Holy Spirit is not some impersonal or inanimate force of God. The Holy Spirit is God. We have his person, his presence and power. The Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, revealer of truth. And some years ago, I heard it expressed this way as it relates to the Godhead, God being the originator of the plan, Jesus being the ex executor of the plan, the Holy Spirit being the revealer of the plan and how the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are one. Let's not grieve him. And Paul specifically in the context of Ephesians chapter 4 tells us uh, to do the right things in essence. Read the verses that precede uh, Ephesians 4 and 30 and you'll, you'll see things like uh, uh, let him who stole steal no, no longer. It has to do with treating one another right. And then he speaks about um, um, uh, be angry but sin not. And, and then furthermore about our words. Make certain that we're not speaking uh, corrupt words. Make certain that we're edifying one another with our speech. It is in that context context that we see grieve not the Holy Spirit no gossiping backbiting these things grieve the Holy Spirit to grieve that word grieve it simply means to injure or to distress let's not grieve the Holy Spirit of God think for a moment have you perhaps grieved the Holy Spirit you know when you're walking with the Lord you'll, you'll know it in fact before you go there you'll sense in your spirit uh, -uh don't do that that's not right you may be just learning this walk and maybe you didn't catch it the first time, but as you've been walking with the Lord, you'll catch it. You'll know how he, he leads and guides. He'll give you that, that, that prompting. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. We've got to walk out our faith each and every day, and it's got to be genuine. There are some folk today that are not convicted or convinced of anything. They just do any and everything and think it's okay, but it's not okay. If we're going to truly experience revival fire, if we're going to avert potential tragedies and, 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 and uh, uh, negative crops that, that, that grow from negative seeds sown. If we sow to the flesh, we'll reap of the flesh corruption. But if we sow to the spirit, life, that's what I want. So this evening, I want us to just flow for a few minutes here that I have remaining. And, and, and I, I first want to kind of just start with this, this prayer. And, and would you assume with me a posture of prayer that Paul spoke of, not just to the men folk, but to the sisters as well. I would that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without raft and doubting. Our Father, we come in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We thank you. We praise you for giving us life, new life in Christ that we have been born again, born of God, born from above. That we are new creations in Christ Jesus. Old things are passed away and all things are become new. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, his work in bringing us to Jesus Christ, uh, glorifying Christ, revealing Christ, touching our hearts so that we would not reject Christ but receive Christ. And oh, we bless you, Father, for all of eternity for this great salvation that you've given to us. We thank you that you did not turn away from us. You did not ignore us. You did not reject us, but you have received us. And you have given to us the power, the privilege, and the right to become your children.
Thank you for the blood that was shed there at Calvary. That blood that flowed. Not just there at Calvary, but all over the world. And I thank you today, Father, that that blood has cleansed us. That we have been washed, not just white as snow, but whiter than snow. That you have far removed our sins from us that, and do not remember them against us any longer. We're not half saved, but we are saved completely. Not because of us, because of Jesus, who there on the cross declared, it is finished. Thank you, Father, for looking upon us and seeing the blood of Jesus Christ that's been applied to our hearts. And we thank you, Father, for the good work that you've begun in us. We must admit, even since receiving Christ, even since beginning this walk with you, we have missed it time and time again. I thank you for the promise, the provision in your word, 1 John 1 and, and 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That word confess means to agree with you, God our Father, as to what you say about sin, about uh, our, our imperfections, our failures. And so, Father, we confess them before you today. Forgive us, Father, for any and everything that we have done that has grieved your Holy Spirit. In word or deed, forgive us, I pray. Perhaps, Father, we think it wasn't really a big deal. We just, you know, our tone was just inappropriate with our spouse or, or even our children. And Father, we should not just act as if that was okay when you have given us that loving tug and prompting to get it right. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us for... Uh, saying one thing and doing another. Forgive us, Father, for the many ways that we have violated your righteous demands. And I pray, Lord God, touch us. Touch us. Give us such a want to, such a hunger and thirst after you like never before. Give us, I pray, Father, an intense hatred for sin and an even more intense love for you we pray, our Father, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, comforter, helper, lead us and guide us. Forgive us for all the ways we would rather have led you, insisting that you go our way rather than we going your way. Forgive us, Father. And this night, I pray, Father, not just this night, but from this night and forevermore, may we live truly in submission to you as we surrender ourselves to you even now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord I'm going to pull on some help here and you worship right along with us thank you Jesus I To him I freely give.
surrender all Well, I surrender all Lord, I, I surrender all Hey, and all to Thee, my blessed Savior, We're going to join in. You join in with us from the top all to Jesus. I surrender. All to Him I freely give. Come on, right where you are, sing with us. I will ever. And trust him and trust him in his presence. Oh, yeah. His presence till he lives. Come on, let the chorus ring out. message the message and 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 and, and i thought that was going to be the last time but we got to declare it one more time come on withholding nothing come on we're going to sing it out to him one more time everything that we have all that we are let's surrender let's submit to god 
Draw near to him. He said, I'll draw nearer to you. it come on we worship you Jesus we worship you Jesus hallelujah we worship you 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 Holy Spirit you are welcome in this place Holy Spirit you are welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art well come into this place come on welcome him holy spirit you are well come in this place Holy Spirit, you are well come in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, you are well come in to this place. Fresh and anew, our Father. A fresh and anew. Revival fire. Touch us as only you can. Yes, Lord. Don't you sense his presence? Even now, if you don't know Jesus Christ personally, the conviction of the Holy Spirit at work now. Not to turn you away, not to reject you to receive you. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved. Just cry out to him right now. You too, backslider. Come on. Acknowledge your sins. Just cry out to him. Save me, Lord Jesus. If you do that, he'll meet you right where you are. Your sins will be forgiven. You'll be made new in him. Blessed be the name of Jesus. As we continue in the worship, if you prayed with me, they're going to put some information on the screen and hold it there for a moment. And, and you just please follow the instructions that, that you see there on the screen. Angels in heaven are rejoicing. 
Well, blessed be the name of the Lord. If we're going to have revival fire, it's truly got to be God's way. Um, His way may not be the only way, but trust me, it's the best way. I want Jesus to rule and reign in my life. How about you? We want the Holy Spirit to abide in us, to rule and reign in all things, as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are sons of God, Romans 8 and 14. Uh, Those who are led of him, the promptings of the Holy Spirit, the leading of the Holy Spirit, and are following his lead, uh, speaks of those who have matured in Christ. God wants us to mature. Stop acting like babies. Yeah, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to take you back to the schoolhouse for a moment. We're still in our 30th year. And I honestly don't think that's my key, so I don't know what key we went over earlier. So, John, this is where you just jump in and help me. <laughs> yeah. Sing it along with us. Everybody you know it's singing with rain. us.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we may end here, but you don't have to end there. In fact, it's not uncommon for us to continue once the lights have dimmed and the cameras go off. And I encourage you, just let him continue to minister to you. And uh, sometimes what we need as well is to just linger in his presence. Um, Lord, show me what I need to see. Show me how I can improve in this area of my life or that area of my life. How am I in my relationships with others? Am I a distraction? Uh, Lord, have I offended someone needlessly? Help me to get it right. Is, is there any root of bitterness in me? Is there any unforgiveness in my heart? It's just, he sees all things. You can't hide. And the word of the Lord is a two-edged sword. It's sharp. It's, it's, it's alive. It's powerful. And it's a discerner. The intents of the heart. He sees all things. Nothing is hidden from him. Truth in the inward parts. That's your desire. And that's what, that's what we want tonight, Father. And we say, Yes, yes and amen. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Join me on the prayer call in the morning, Thursday and Friday, then right here again on Sunday. Remember, we're going to share the table of the Lord. Please prepare your communion elements and join in with us. Now, there is no end to this. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Shalom. If you need a church home, tonight's the night. Connect, plug into Agape, text new 2021 to 79, 79, 79. We'd love for you to be a part of our growing family. I'm going to step out the way and just continue in Jesus. Love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Jesus reigns.